What's going on guys? This is Bobby Douglas. Welcome to another 2020 NBA Draft Prospect full game video breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Vanier College Prep guard Kareem Manet. Uh, Kareem Manet was a guy who really burst onto the scene late in the recruiting cycle. He became a five-star recruit on 247 after impressing during his time at Vanier. And listen, he's not really well known by a lot of recruiting analysts. He did just declare that he's going to stay in the 2020 NBA draft. I think Marquette and Michigan State were the favorites to land him had he decided to go into the college route. But again, he is staying in the draft. So I figured we probably should do a video on him. Right now, I have him as a just outside the top 60 on my big board. Um, a lot of teams do like his overall upside at the position of combo guard just due to his 6'5", 195 frame. And yeah, so I have him just outside my top 60. He's probably going to get drafted in the second round or go undrafted, I would say. But he is definitely staying in. And listen, he does have a pretty nice overall game. Again, he attacks the rim well. He's pretty fluid overall. So I'm excited to watch this game with you guys. This is from the FIBA U19 Basketball World Cup in 2019, where Canada is taking on Australia. And Manet's going to have 23 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists in around 30 minutes of action. So I'm excited to get, in this with, and get into this with you guys, and here we go. And he's going to be number four in the red. I'm circling him right here, and let's go. And admittedly, I don't know a whole lot about Kareem Mane. Um, he was, again, he was a guy who they didn't really know a whole lot about him before his last season at Vanier, and he really just kind of burst onto the scene as a highly rated recruit. Michigan State was in on him. Marquette was in on him before he ultimately decides to go head into the NBA. And so I'm excited to see what he can do in this game. Obviously, he has a pretty solid game. And yeah, again, pretty fluid with the ball. Good quickness right there. Just a pretty forced pass, I would say. Not great. Again, decision-making, not probably his strong suit. He's probably better suited at playing the two in the NBA. This is pretty up and down. Let's see what Mene does here. And again, tough finish. Not the most efficient scorer. Um, I think for this tournament, he shot around 36% from the floor and 32% from three, while shooting 50% from the free throw line. So there are probably a little bit of concerns with his jump shots, regardless of this being a small sample. I think he played seven games in this event. But overall, I do worry about his efficiency. And listen, he is pretty, he is somewhat raw. So you're going to probably need to have him in the G League for maybe a year or two before he can really solidly contribute. But overall, I do like his just overall wiry twitch athleticism that he does have. He's a pretty solid defender. Tends to get lost a little bit, but he is just physically he has enough tools to make it work in the NBA. And then offensively, he's pretty fluid in all of his movements, but it's just a matter of just finding more consistency with that jump shot. So, yeah, we're going to see him. Yeah, he's guarding off the ball right there again. So that's just kind of a lapse from him. He's He just totally uh, does loses sight of the ball and the driver, and it lets, leads to an easy layup opportunity. So, like, right there he needs to be able to, be able to help in that situation, but he was kind of turned around. I think he shoots 5 of 9 from 3 in this game, so we get to see a lot of his shooting stroke. But again, he looks pretty solid defensively on the ball, at least. Again, he's pretty long for 6'4", 6'5". Again, overall, pretty solid help positioning. Would like to see him be a little bit more engaged, just have his arms up, things like that. And again, that's just a rifle of a pass. That's not on him. I don't know what that point guard was doing. Again, these this game is very like up and down. It's fun. It's kind of like the uh, the Kenyon Martin game we looked at with um, IMG and uh, Hargrave, I think, where it was just total. It was basically like an all star game. <laughs> so good rotation from Kareem uh, from Mene right there, and again he did he did a nice job just kind of stifling that drive. Didn't go up against the most athletic or quick guy right there, but it was a nice job just kind of just being a nuisance and ultimately forcing the missed shot. And again, he athletically, he has pretty much everything that you would ask for in a combo guard at the NBA level. You know, I don't really have any doubts with, about him with that. I think he, you know, right there, good job forcing the illegal screen. And so, over, it just, yeah, overall, I, I like him athletically, but it's just going to be, you know, a few years before I think he makes a, legit, a legitimate impact at the NBA level. Just because he needs to refine his skills a little bit more. 
and just um, you know, just be a little bit more comfortable with the ball in his hands and uh, in terms of decision making, things like that. Yeah, I missed three right there. Canada's gonna get the ball back. And he's out on the perimeter right now. Nothing much going on. Here comes Australia. And again, good job just being on the weak side and being ready. He is prone to defensive lapses, I think. But, um, you know, overall, I think he's in pretty solid help position in transition right there. And here he is. And look, he has very awesome open court speed, as we saw right there. Again, he's a, he just fly on a court. Basically, as a corner-to-corner uh, -corner runner, in a sense, he's a guy who's going to get a lot of highlight dunks just because of that quick twitch athletic ability. And yeah, he can just fly down the court. Really like his overall speed. Again, if there's a combine, I think he's probably going to be one of the more impressive um, physical uh, performances there. But just going to be about refining his skills. Got an air ball three. And again, here's the open court speed, as you see right here. Again, pretty long and wiry. Good job just getting to the rim and splitting that defense right there. That's such an underrated skill to be able to just kind of slice through the defense like that. Use long strides. And you can see right here, we'll see it again. That time he got tripped up. But um, again, just using those long strides and just kind of just extending over the defense. I do think he's very capable of doing that. And we will watch him shoot free throws right here. And again, he was 50% for this tournament, I'm sure, you know, um, we'll watch his form right here. But, you know, shooting, he's never really been super encouraging from what I've looked at. But obviously, I didn't have a lot to go off of. It's hard to find the Vanier College stats. It's hard, you know. And then this is obviously only seven games. So right there, it looks like his elbow's a little bit too extended, I would say. Um, you know, it looks like he's just kind of throwing it rather than shooting it. it looks like it's pretty low trajectory-wise. Right there, it looks better but um, from that angle. But again, it just kind of looks a little bit clunky. But overall, he does have pretty good um, rise and fire technique, I would say. It, that's not really an issue. And I believe Maine is, Manet is out right here, so I'll skip ahead to 26-47. He comes back in. There we go. And, yeah, he should be back in here. So, again, end of the first quarter. Yeah. And again, he only plays. So, again, you can see right here, pretty good on-the-ball defense. Again, uses that length really well. Kind of jabs at the ball. Right there, not the best foot speed. Probably should have done a little bit better, but he was a little bit out of position. He kind of got blown by on the left side. On that play. And that will be the end of the first quarter. So I will skip ahead to the second quarter. And here we go. So Mane is running the baseline right here, coming off of a baseline screen. Not much going on. It could have been a travel. So right now you can see Mane is kind of just back in that press. He's kind of playing that uh, last man back safety position that you'll see. Right there's probably another example where he was kind of drifting away from um, the basket on that drive. Maybe should have been in a little bit better help position. Because he's not really fully committing to his man out there anyway. So you might as well just kind of try and take the charge or something right there. Let's see right here. Good job ripping and running. He's going to draw a foul and I believe get free throws. 
Just give my head right here. And again, it just looks a little bit quick, and it looks just, um, I don't know how to describe it really. It just, it looks a little bit too tight, I would say. A little bit too reactive, like it's almost like a spring coming off. Um, the ball is almost, just, it's, not, it's like he's like loading up a spring, and then it's just kind of firing off a little bit too fast. I think a, lot, a little bit, adding a little bit more of a lift to that jump shot would help. Good job darting around that screen right there. He went under, but he was able to make up and make up enough make up enough ground in time, and that's on his teammate for not getting back out of the drop coverage. Here he is on the ball. And looks like it's going to be a turnover, and here comes Australia. Mane not involved in that play. Here he's on the ball again. And again, I do like that length. I'm not sure what his wingspan measurements are because I couldn't really find an official one. But um, I just I test but going based on eye test. I think he's pretty solid. We got a turnover again. Canada's done a lot of those full court passes that just sail over their teammates' heads. And here he is on the ball. And again, overall on the ball, pretty solid stance and everything. We saw that one time he got beat, but that was kind of uh, didn't have the best approach going that going in that direction. But overall, I think his on ball defense is pretty solid. Not really sure he can guard anything outside of ones and twos. But I think on the perimeter, at least he can be a plus defender. There's Manet getting that ball. Good job just getting an extra possession. Again, nice hustle right there. His effort and overall aware in motor can go in and out at times based on what I've read. But right there, he did a nice job just kind of saving that possession and uh, having a nice heads-up play to knock it off an Australia player. And he's going to inbound it right here. Let's see what he does. Down here, so we got Looking for something, looking for that lift up. Yeah. Nothing really worked out there for Canada on that inbounds play. Ooh, that should have been a carry. Nice finish, though. Looks like we got a foul, too. Oh, never mind. No. What is it? What's the call, sir? And he got the FIBA subscribe button. Right there, that's not really on him. I do appreciate the awareness, but um it's on his teammate to not really allow that really allow that pass going back door. And uh Manet was in the had the right idea just kind of trying to uh, tag from the weak side on that post entry, but ultimately I don't think that's really on him. Good rip and run right here. And again, those, that's where those long strides kind of come into play. You can see he just uses that right foot to propel himself around that big man and finish just underneath him. And again, that's where that like kind of wiry, that you know twitchy athleticism comes into play really well. And here he is with a steal. Let's see what he does right here. So right there, he lost the ball in transition. He was trying to do a little Euro step. He just couldn't really get around fully.
And again, nice job just kind of weak side tagging. Yep, right there. That's a tough spot for, to be, for him to be in. Yeah, it's a tough spot for him to be in because that post defender had to go out and help on the drive, which meant um, Mane had to rotate down. And then, you know, that skip pass is wide open right there for that open three. Mane has to go out there and try and contest it. Tough, tough spot for him to be in. Um, I don't know if he could have really done that any better. There's a deep three, and he's going to knock that one down. And again, that's the first time we've seen him shoot off the dribble. And again, it's pretty, it's a pretty fluid overall motion. You know, it's not like he's really clunky in his release or his dribble-to-shot transition. So I think that's also encouraging for his NBA possibility as well. And again, good job just helping, stunting, and recovering. Right there, maybe another incident of lack of foot speed, even though that was more of craft. I think he looks like he just guessed the wrong way. Again, laterally, he's not the best. Um, it's more up and down speed that he has. But, um, you know, I think he can still be a decent defender in the NBA. So here's Mane going to come get the ball into a ball screen action. Nice one-handed pass. That was on a rope, banked in three. But, um, you know, I'm not really seeing him as really a primary creator or initiator on offense. I think he's probably better off suited as the two guard in the NBA, just kind of playing off the ball, being able to attack closeouts a little bit more on the catch. And again, in this tournament, I think he averaged... Uh, he averaged three assists compared to two and a half turnovers, which isn't horrible. But, um, you know, he obviously isn't the primary guard on this team. And here's Mane again. Again, another shot off the dribble. That time, it looked like a little bit of a jackknife release, but he still got to go in, and it was pretty smooth. But again, you just see the off the dribble shooting, I think it's definitely there just in terms of the motion, which is honestly you have to battle with some of these guys. And it looks like we got a foul right here. And so I do buy his overall shooting just because of that even though he needs to be a little bit more consistent, I would say. Now what's going on there? So Manet's in the corner. Two on a shot clock. Got it off. That's going to be an air ball. Yeah. And he goes out for a little bit right here. I will skip ahead for about two minutes in YouTube time when he comes back in. There we go. Good job dodging that. Good job dodging both of those screens. They ran a little bit of a floppy set for his man. Managed to attack that pretty well. So we got a jump ball. Right there, probably got caught ball watching with like a seeing box out his man. And here he is. Let's see what he does. Again, nice downhill speed. Pretty decent dish, even though it was in pretty close quarters. But again, you just see that ability to just kind of get the ball um, and accelerate immediately. Especially when he's coming downhill like that. That's pretty impressive. He tends to get caught up in the air a little bit too much, though. And again, that's where the kind of just playing more in control will help him. Because if he could get a floater game or something like that, I think he could be really, really effective. Because he doesn't have to commit to fully going towards the basket. I like the aggression that he shows, but overall, that's not the most like effective uh, manner into getting good shots. For him, at least. Because he hasn't really shown a whole lot as a finisher. Back screen into an Iverson cut. Here's Mane for three. 
Ooh, he knocked that one down again, too. He's been a really good shooter in this game. Three for three from three, I believe. And again, good job just kind of denying, being in denial position right there. Good stunt. That was pretty good defense from Manet. Into a DHO. Final five seconds. Let's see what's going on here. Not a whole lot going on. So we got a, I think we're going to get a timeout here. For the final one and a half seconds. So anyways, good shot contest. Good job just staying vertical, not being undisciplined and getting a cheap foul call right there. Pretty solid. So with that, I'll pause this game, and that's the end of the first half video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. That really helps me out. And yeah, um, we will see you for the second half of this game, and thanks for watching. Bye.